right, well then, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kendall Lee Nash, otherwise known as Kendall's Plot. And she is an incredible local Cape Town artist. And she is going to tell you more about herself because why must I talk when she can? <laughs> Kendall. Well, I'd like Lauren says, I didn't actually have to do much introduction. You know me already. Um, but I am working as a part-time photographer actually. And I do uh, many drawings at the moment. I do charcoal and pastel, those big botanical drawings that I think you've seen them probably on Instagram. Yeah. And I have a few, I have, I'm going to uh, exhibits in the expo at the end of this month um, awesome. at the CTICC. So definitely come through. I think there's going to be lots of, yeah, lots of cool artists there as well. Yeah. And yeah, that's me really. I mean, you pretty much know know me <laughs> from us <laughs> yeah. yeah cool oh. fabulous okay so you've got your kits in front of you um we've got our little booklets kendall's got the same one so we're just going to slip over there it is oh, cool. so you've got your step-by-step -step booklets you've got um a pencil inside um Kendall, you want to open your book? There we are. Okay, yeah. So we have the paintbrushes and the pencil. And I think this is the apron. You can use the apron. And then all the colors. We have blue and yellow. Pretty simple. Those are the two main colors we'll use today. And then black and white. So that's really it. We'll mix our own green using the blue and the other, and then the canvas. So that's what you should have in your kits. Yeah. Let's put that there. Um, so my original, this is my original um, painting. It's quite a lot smaller. <laughs> so that's going to be cool today to actually paint a bit bigger. And um, you guys have the water you said and a ruler, okay? Yeah. Mm. Um, I usually mix, so what happens is I take the plastic from, sometimes from the actual canvas, oh. and I use that, um, but I also just bought, uh, it's just a white piece of paper on, in Ziploc bag, and I mix the paint on here, and what's nice with that is with acrylic, you, when it dries, you can peel it off and just use it again, so that's sort of why I use plastic, or alternatively, um, the lid of the paint and sip box is the drafting tin form. You can also mix on that if you want. Yeah. Okay. We've got a, the boxes over there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab the boxes because we do that. Cool. There we go. Reuse, reduce, recycle. So, <laughs> yeah. Reuse your box, reuse all the pieces, and then chuck them in the bin, and you don't feel as guilty afterwards. Mm. But she's done with me at least. Yeah, you're getting chucked in the bin next door. Who's that, <laughs> Done. <laughs> Cheers. All righty, Kendall, when you're ready, you can take it away. All right. So I'll just wait for Lauren to come back. I'm here. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to start with, and you probably have your little booklet as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as it says in the book, um, the first step is I draw the border. So cool. I'll just do that now. Um, I'm just going to use the width of the ruler just to make it easier. I'm done with my border. So. Yeah. So I just put the ruler to the edge and then 
Yeah, so cool. I think it's a three centimeter border all around actually. And then obviously if you have a rubber as well, you can um, rub out any pencil marks you make if you don't want. Cool. So just do that all the way around. <laughs> and then once that's done i i mean it's up to you how thick you want this black line to be yeah uh, but i generally go around okay this canvas is a little bit bigger so i think i'll do maybe a centimeter mm, okay cool and then i just measure a centimeter in And then I do the same all around. Same thing. And there is an option to, um, we were chatting about it earlier, there's an option to maybe use the ruler um, as opposed to the masking tape because what I find sometimes with masking tape is um, it bleeds out. So if you, you can tape yeah. down, you can tape it down all, all the way around just to keep your um lines neat and tidy but i actually have a little bit when you're doing the painting like cool i think i'm i think i'm gonna do my painting part freehand because otherwise i'm gonna make a huge mess that's what yeah that's what i do as well because i find that sometimes the masking tape it actually like bleeds out of the masking tape so i find it actually a bit easier yeah if you just freehand so bleeding is not good for the human body or for art <laughs> well this piece it's um yeah it's quite neat i suppose so so kendall what got you into painting um these kind of paintings so i've obviously we picked this together for this um class but you do do a lot of flora and fauna the beautiful greens um the ferns and the mother's mother-in-law tongue I think the mother's mother-in-law's tongue and the cactus coming out of circles and triangles and squares what inspired those well I had I often uh, go walking um, and running in Kirstenbosch and I'd taken a photo actually that I really just loved and because I yeah I still obviously take photos as well um and I took a photo that I really loved and I just wanted to paint it. And it's quite a big piece with lots of different plants and it inspired, inspired me to actually make these smaller pieces but just focus on one specific plant at a time. And I, I guess the shapes just because I you know, thought it was quite interesting it's sitting on the canvas ordered around. I mean, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just doing the square just because it's easier, but I mean, you can do circles or triangles or whatever you want. Um, yeah. But it was just from my photography experience that inspired these little these little pieces. <laughs> awesome. So once you've done the border, um, I do like a rough sketch of the, the cactus, the oh. cactus shape. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear my mom muttering swear words. <laughs> <laughs> I only feel like I need to use a ruler for it. No, just, uh, just go for it. Okay. So just let me know if I'm going too quick or if you want to yeah. need to go down. And um, when you're ready, we can start drawing out the cactus. Cool. So we just go for it, yeah. Yeah, so I just, um, I do the, the big piece first, this nice. long shape over there. I do yeah. that long first. And you can decide where you want it to be. I usually put a little bit off center just because it's more interesting for the eye. It's starting like a third bracket there, the thickness, yeah. And this is totally, I mean, this is really just a simple shape and you don't have to be too, um, careful when you drawing it out. So I just do like a rough sketch basically of the shape. So I just do that first 
shape. And then I add the little arms afterwards. So there's one little arm here at the top. And you just kind of make that shape. And then Vicky and Lauren, can you guys see the pencil outline? Was it a bit too bright to see them? Can't, no, we can't see it. No, uh, okay. we, we're gonna dark, we're gonna dim it down a bit now. Right. Just so you can see more of the outline. Is that better? Must I draw a bit darker? I can draw a bit darker. Yeah, if you could, that would be okay. that would be great. So I'll do the the first shape. I just do that big shape and again I just do like rough uh, pencil lines I'm not too fussed about that because we need to know that when we paint over it is that better can you see yeah thanks Kendall okay so we just do that first big shape And then after that, I just go in and do the little arms. So there's that one little arm at the top. And again, this is, I mean, this is a plant, so it can be, it doesn't have to be perfectly shaped. It's organic. So just sort of play around with that. And then I'll do the second arm just a little bit below that one. And I even, I go over the border even, just to create that different shape. And you can make the arms as fat or as thin as you want as so. well. And then the one at the bottom. Are you guys okay? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then I'll do a big arm at the bottom. Sweeping down. Oh my god, that looks good to me. Yeah, that looks good to me. Just make a little this one a bit better. In piece. And slightly around it. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna do the little one, little arm here at the bottom. Again, you can make your arms different shapes or sizes. <laughs> cool. Cool. Happy. Cool. So, so then make the black border. Yeah. So then we'll do the black border. So black paint and a paintbrush. Yeah. Yeah. So brushes, but we're going to be using our like thinnest brush for this one. Yeah, sorry. Let me open this so I can show you which one to use. Uh, yeah, the thinnest one is probably best. Okay. Is that, oh, where am I going? Can you see that? The thinnest one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then, yeah, I mean, it's really just about doing the black border as neat as you can in the line. Hmm. So I just take the paintbrush and run it across the line as close as I can. And sometimes it's if you use a brush on its side like that, and then you can get straight line. Yeah, okay. that's the lucky you know. <laughs> and the, the paint actually nice and thin, so you won't have to worry too much about dipping it in water. And just load your paintbrush up with more paint. And just press and pull down. I find it creates um, neat lines. If you just press down and then pull up. Oh, I feel like that's gonna take a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is probably the most 
tedious part of, <laughs> of the painting. <laughs> Um, I sometimes I've thought of adding some gold pen or something to the outside of the border just to mm -hmm. it it yeah. You're getting so fast. No, but you can see what's happening as a result of that. Are you guys okay? Yeah. I'm okay. just getting snacks. Right, <laughs> cool. <laughs> So yeah, I just, I'll, I'll probably do like uh, two or three layers of this, but I'm just going to do one there for now. And then we can move on to the cut. Oh my goodness. I feel like you guys are both going so much faster than me. Well, there's no rush. <laughs> no rush at all. This is just because I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> done the same painting a couple of times. Have you guys done a live event with this painting as well? Uh, no, not yet. I was going to do Rubik's Curve um, and then I pulled out. Um, it's just a bit difficult sometimes with the baby, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to find the right time. I wanted to see how this class went. Uh, first, and then maybe um, we could do a live event at a later stage uh, with this one, or maybe a, um, another one. I know Lauren said that she really liked the mother, mother in law's tongue, so we could also try something like that. But yeah. I like that one might be beyond the scope of my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> like doing a blackboard is it kind of a bit beyond my. But this is definitely the hardest bit of this painting. This um this black border could also probably be done with pen, um, if that's easier. It's kind of quite soothing, just like focusing yeah. in the line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not staying in the line very well, but <laughs> it's, it's okay not to I think. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. And honestly, that I don't think I've fun. ever painted a picture in my life, actually. Really? Like I have, yeah, I don't think. No, never. This is like a first. Have you drawn? No. Nope. Um, um, Lauren didn't get any of our artistic <laughs> thing from me. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite part of art school, Lauren? Was it the photography? Um, yeah, I don't know. To be honest, sometimes I feel a bit traumatized by art school. I feel like my favorite part of art school was leaving it. <laughs> um, it was quite traumatizing, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. I find it very difficult to paint these days because my inner critic is so loud. <laughs> they, so, they were so critical, I remember that well. They break us a lot. Especially in that first year. Yeah, like every crit I just spent crying. I know. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember uh, 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 Denny. Terrible. I remember Denny actually asking me once, um, where was this talent in art school? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Are you from Pentagon, Kendall? I am from uh, PE originally. Okay. We had um, school in PE. Pardon? We had school in PE. Yes, I went okay. to Alex. Alexander at high school. Um, I was I was actually originally born in the Free State, and then my folks moved to uh, PE when I was about one, I think. Um, oh gosh, yeah. And then grew up in grew up in PE, and then moved to Grahamstown to study. Oh, no. okay. And then you said Cape Girl kind of thing. Yep, yeah, definitely. And then I moved to um, 
I moved to Cape Town. Actually, so I, I don't know if Lauren remembers this, but I wasn't there for the fourth year. Um, yeah. Yeah, I uh, ran into a bit of financial difficulty. <laughs> so I couldn't uh, pay for my last year of studies. Um, so I moved to Cape Town uh, with the intention of going back actually to study um, after a year of saving and I just it just never happened but I, I got my degree through UNISA actually I finished it through UNISA. Very cool well done. I was working and paying off student loans and stuff at the same time and, and then managed to study as well and finish. Yes. I didn't finish with a fine art degree I finished with just an art degree though um, but yeah. I, I think it still counts. <laughs> oh, what is, what is the difference? I think so. My, the, the technical title is that I have a BA um, majoring in art history and studio practice oh, okay. as, as, as opposed to just a fine art degree. Well, not just, I mean, a fine art degree, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a title thing, really. Um, I just had to make up for some credits um and yeah i've I studied uh, psychology and philosophy to make up those credits cool. yeah and then i um, worked for a media company for seven years as a photographer as a professional photographer and that wasn't very inspiring yeah uh, and i went to I remember going to a wine farm and seeing this beautiful charcoal portrait um, and I thought hey I could do that and I really I remember love I love drawing um, at art school yeah. and I started drawing and just it just flourished from there I just never wanted to stop so um, and yeah it's been it's been a journey ever since trying and a struggle trying to be an artist <laughs> yeah yeah geez you're braver than me for sure really it's it's yeah it's a daily struggle but it's it's all I want to do <laughs> well it's great to know what you want to do actually yeah and I'm, I'm doing photography I'm taking on photography jobs on the side as well just for bread and butter um and then yeah I'm hope I'm doing commissions here and there um but yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do those big botanical drawings and and sell yeah. those. But when you do photography, do you do like, like I mean, do you do like weddings and stuff, or do you is it more arty stuff? Um, I used to do. I used to do weddings. Weddings are so intense. I'll be honest. It's yeah. That's, I imagine. That's yeah. <laughs> Um, but I, I really love uh, decor photography, actually, interiors. Okay. And, yeah, so I do, um, I work with um, mainly one interior company, actually, and she keeps me quite busy. Um, and I do, so I just do, like, interior shots for her of the houses that she designs. Um, and actually, more recently, um, an ex-colleague of mine, I ran into her, and she... Um, needed portraits, um, stock portraits of this uh, black smucker. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. So I photographed uh, the stuff at the black smucker, which is quite cool. So yeah, just whatever I can get, really. Um, but was, what was nice about the media company I was in is we worked under 20 different magazine titles and we did every, every kind of photography, fashion, portraiture, decor, food travel everything so I got it I got quite a lot of experience there yeah. <laughs> might need to make my border a bit wider <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm like, okay, it's a two centimeter border now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight lines have never been my greatest strength, to be honest. It's it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. 
That's why I find just like loading the paintbrush up and pulling down in one move actually helps quite a lot. Rather than lots of little strokes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I found that out very late in, in, <laughs> in the last one. <laughs> Yeah, actually, the more paint you have on the brush, the more it hurts, actually. And from far, it will look nice and neat, obviously. <laughs> Where do you go? Very <laughs> far. So then hang it somewhere where people can't get too close. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I always, whenever I do um, <laughs> finished pieces, and I see people look at them and they like go right, right up close. <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't, don't stand so close. <laughs> it looks so good. Look at them far away. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to put a t shirt on me. Yeah, it is hot suddenly. Mm. Like the wind's totally, well, not totally hot, pretty much gone. I'm very confused on this bit. I can't believe it's November and it's still like yeah. I still feel like it's March 2020 to be honest. I know. It's been a <laughs> <of land. laughs> you got some instant shadows. Yeah, that's a bit of a oops. I, I just dropped my paintbrush in the middle oh, of the it. canvas. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oh well, hopefully green will go over that. You can uh, add a bird or something. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I'm probably paint white over it when it's totally dry. Yeah, it doesn't help that this is um, predominantly white canvas as well here. <laughs> yeah. Not much room for mistakes, yeah. I once dropped... Um, <laughs> Quite embarrassing, isn't it? But I once dropped uh, wine onto, <laughs> uh, no. oh, onto a pencil drawing as well. It wasn't even like something I could hide. <laughs> and also not something that you can pretend was like part of the, exactly. part of the plan. Exactly. Okay. And I tried to describe that to people as well. Like, yeah, I'm drinking and painting a drawing. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. Is your baby a little boy or a little girl? A little girl. Um, her name's Mila. And oh, nice. she, yeah, Mila Faye. And she turned six months on Friday. Which is crazy. Amazing how time flies. I feel like it was like yesterday that I saw your pregnancy post on Instagram. I know. And and I mean, everyone that I see or people that have had children tell me all the time, it goes so fast, it goes so fast. And it's, yeah, I mean, I suppose I'm only six months in. I'm still learning like every day. It's like a new, a new adventure. <laughs> I'm but sure. it's she's sitting now she like just mastered that oh. this last week <laughs> so i'm really stoked she got tea no not yet i keep okay. thinking she, she's teething <laughs> was, uh... okay. but no teeth yet not teething just howling for the hell of it yeah for sure that's the word when you actually don't know why they're crying. Yeah. That's the thing with babies. And I just tell me what's wrong. Hey, speak. Say your first word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I've finished that. I'm probably, um, I mean, it depends on how thick you put the paint on, but I'd probably go over, over it again. Um, and going over it the second time is a little bit quicker and a little bit easier because you've already yeah. laid out the first uh, layer. Um, but yeah, I'll let me know when you're ready and I can start on the canvas. I'm just going to do the second layer so long. Um, maybe you can add a second layer now yeah. or, or add a later to you. 
work on filling it in where it's a bit yeah we have to make some adjustments <laughs> all kinds of things there like mine might be black for <laughs> for the three centimeters that are background. supposed to be white <laughs> how's the borders coming along ladies mm -hmm. yeah. damn those are some straight yeah. lines I'm not saying mine. Yeah, they, they look like that from afar, but trust me, they're not very straight. <laughs> Are you ready? You ready to go into the canvas? I mean, onto the cactus? Or do you I want think to? So. Okay. Let's do now. Mm. In there. Yeah, in there's mine. Okay. okay. I'll tidy that up later. Um. Oh, watch your elbows in your pants. <laughs> so I'm just going to okay, so yeah, so we need to start actually mixing paint. Yeah. I feel like I might switch back to this first plan because it's right here. Are you, are you guys on the, um, did you cover the lid with plastic? Um, I did, but I think I'm switching over to a Tupperware just because the okay. table is a bit small. Okay, yeah. So then I'll just work on this as well. Just I want to work, try work on the same thing that you working on, okay. if possible. Um, I, I find putting a piece of uh, paper or something underneath it also helps, just so you can see the color um, and what it's oh. doing. If you want to try that? Yeah. Put my apron underneath. Oh yes, the apron. And then oh yes, and then also I have this, it's just an old scarf just to wipe your paintbrush. I don't know if you guys yeah, haven't tried some just okay. they're like relatal stuff. Cool. So then I'm just gonna take that middle brush. Middle okay. size. Why do I want to smudge this border? <laughs> I think it's actually a critic dress practically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? All right. Okay. So we are going to just mix. For now, we're just going to mix the um, base color. So it's just going to be like a plain green. So I'm, I just do it on the fly. I don't know how many blobs to add. So I'm just going to. See, and also actually it's, what's nice is it's totally up to you how dark you want it to be or what kind of green you want it to be. You'll see now when you start to mix, you can mix different types of green. You can make it lime green if you add more yellow, or you can make it dark green if you add more blue. So just see what you feel um, when you start mixing. Um, yeah, just grab a little, but won't stay in there. If you want to uh, keep the colors clean, you can maybe just grab your previous brush and use one for blue and one for yellow. And then just add them separately onto the, onto the palette. Oh, that's very dark. Yeah, you need more yellow. yellow than yeah, you need quite yellow. a lot of yellow. You, need, you do yeah. need quite a lot of yellow. So I, I start with yellow first and then I um, actually just add blue as I go. Can you see that? Is it clear on the screen? Um, hmm. I've just done a dab of blue and then I've added no. quite, a lot of, quite a lot of yellow just to make like the mid green. So this is not going to be too dark or too light. It's going to be like a middle range green. Cool. Does that make sense? Um, I just want to help my mom with something quickly. Sure. Um, okay, so wipe off your brush now. Like if you've got too much going on, you're going to fall the whole. Try not to get black on it. Cool, and now only take yellow, but don't put it in that same pile, put it on the side. Okay. Like that. Yeah, now start mixing and add just a tiny little blob of, mix that, what you've got. No. Oh. Mix the yellow only. Okay. Yeah. Mix so yeah, I just take like a blob. Yeah, like of that. Tiny bit darker, so take a tiny blob of that and mix. There you go, yeah. Tiny bit of blue and then quite a bit of yellow. Cool. And then you mix it quite thoroughly until it's all kind of mushed together. And then I just 
Go for it. I just start painting. Yeah, you happy with that green one? Mm, cool. Perfect. And here I can see the paint is quite thin. So again, you can add water if you want, but I'm just going to yeah. keep adding the paints um, just to uh, spread it out. Cool. And we can just like block the whole thing in with this here. Hey? Yeah, we're just going to block the whole uh, join in. Just I'm, still, I'm, I'm still mixing to see bits that are dark and bits that are yellow. Cool. Yeah. So you decide on your green, there's no rush. So again, while you guys are painting your cactus in green, you've got some artworks up at the waterfront, correct? Yes, so I have um, uh, two drawings at the Arts of Africa um, hmm. Arts Africa Gallery. They were in a group exhibition um, called Whale Song, and they're still there, and yeah, they're part of that exhibition. Awesome. And what are they of? They also are botanicals, so the one is um, a leaf drawing, and then the other one's like a big succulent plant. Um, two big, well, they're actually charcoal and pastel together. And do you have a lot of plants in your garden that you? I do. I have the complex I uh, live in is called Greenside Gardens. <laughs> um, okay. And there's lots of plants um, around there. But I actually I'm quite inspired by Kirstenbosch Gardens. I, I go there quite mm. often. To walk. Um, and yeah. And I take lots of photos and I just, I use the reference images for my drawings. Absolutely love it. It's like my meditation. Quite a nice place to get your inspiration from Kirsten Bosch, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Endless, it's endlessly yeah. inspiring. There's always something new to see. Yeah. We are pretty fortunate in Cape Town. Yeah. yeah. Mountains, seas, gardens. I mean, geez, we have it all. Okay, so I've run out of uh, green, so I'm just going to try and mix it to as close to that color as possible. Again, just like a drop of blue and quite a lot of yellow. And I'm just trying to use the same brush for blue and for yellow, just so, I mean, different brushes for blue and yellow, just so I can keep the tub green and clean. Does that make sense? Are well, the little things also supposed to be in this color, just the main thing? Yeah, the whole, this is a little like sort of background color. Yeah. So even so the little everything. arms yeah. are going to be, okay. Yeah, this is the base color. So the arms and the body of the, of the cactus are all going to be the same. It looks so sort of hard to paint with. <laughs> What's hard to paint with? Acrylics. I'm like used to oil paint where you like to just keep smudging and everything is fine. I've actually, I've, I'm the opposite. So I've worked a lot with acrylic and very little with oil. Um, and I, I, I don't know, I find oil quite daunting. But so much more forgiving. You can just make mistakes. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. That's it's more forgiving, I think. Whereas, Acrylic dries very quickly, so you have to make quick decisions sometimes. Yeah. But what's nice about acrylic is you can um, layer, you can layer quite quickly as well because it dries quickly. So yeah, that's a good if point. If you make mistakes, it's not a big deal. Makes more. So what I'm doing, doing is I'm actually just making doing the body of the cactus first, and then I do the arms of the um afterwards and i'll show you why when i get there
So I'm doing the arms now. Again, just mixing the same green, the base color green. And I try to do, do the arms at a different um, angle with the paintbrush so I can tell where it begins and when, where it ends. Oh, wow. We need to um, add the shadows afterwards. So the, the strokes are a little bit different. But also this, what's nice about this can, uh, this cactus is it's got little spikes in it. So if you go outside the lines, it's actually not gonna be such a big deal. <laughs> it's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> because the, uh, the spikes will cover any, any mistakes. What kind of cactus is this that you're painting? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. I should know this. I always, uh, <laughs> I always think of Bob Ross in this situation. <laughs> yeah. Happy little tree. <laughs> This is happy little plants or happy little trees. Hmm. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Well, I am. Are you okay, Mark? Focused, focused. Yeah, there's some more wine. Mm. That first day takes a bit of concentration. We do have a motto here at Paint and Sip, and that is the more you sip, the better you paint. Just don't <laughs> yeah. look at it. That's a good motto. Yeah, we'll have to loosen up for sure. Mm. It's Thank always worth trying. I'm sipping on water today. I'll have to have my first glass of wine when the baby goes to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully not too late. Yeah, that's true. It's different every day. Oh dear. <laughs> Does she sleep through? Uh, not yet. She um, wakes up once. Oh, that's um, not too bad, eh? Not bad. And yeah, she she sometimes goes back down easy, sometimes not. It's, it's always a new adventure <laughs> every night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've done the first layer of green. Oh my goodness, you're so fast. Yeah, I'm still. I'll wait. No worries, I'll wait. Still behind. Not at all. You can see it's not perfect either. I don't know if I should show mm you, -hmm. but it's just quite a rough layer of green. It doesn't have to be quite okay. easy. Because oh, cactuses are there. Yeah. yeah. Cacti, not cactuses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is great. It actually doesn't have to be perfect at all. I'm just going to clean my brushes off. Okay. 
Can you guys hear the parrot incessantly whistling? I do. I was going to ask about that, actually. Yeah, it's the neighbors, so, not mine. Just uh, very irritating little yeah. creature. Okay, either how loud is the parrot or how close are your neighbors? <laughs> they know both. <laughs> It also, it's got this new thing it does where it makes the sound of like a very anguished cat. <laughs> and cats can sound quite hectic when they scream like that. Yeah. Or a parrot imitating that sound is also quite hectic. <laughs> yeah, it actually, it, it went missing for a few days. We were just hopeful it was a permanent thing that they found it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kendall, can I get you anything to drink? Are you still all right? Okay, thank you. I've got my water bottle here. Another spot of tea? Um, no, I'm okay for now. Thank you. Are you guys in the same physical location, in the same place? Yeah. Yes, we are filming from my house. Very cool. Oh, nice. I got all the fancy lights and cameras and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering um, how this worked because you need the top down camera. And then the, the front, yeah, the laptop. We were wondering if somebody was like standing. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Steve. He's been standing very still the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get a glass of wine because I'm really top me up too. Relatively yeah, green. I'm very green. Right. So Kendall, when's the next big exhibition? So um Unfortunately, I can't go to the one in Joburg, um, but I entered into a competition and that drawing uh, got in, which is really cool. Um, and then that will be on display in Joburg for, I think, about two weeks, also in a group exhibition. And then um, the, big, the big one that I'm getting ready for now is uh, This Is Arts Expo at the end of this month, um, which is at the CTICC. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm just getting ready for for that because it's it's um it's basically like a stall um like an expo um and I'm essentially like acting as my own gallery so I'm just trying to get as much work as I can possibly do um, by the end of this month and then all the admin that comes with that so yeah. Awesome. Well, that's really exciting. I mean, branching out from Cape Town and also CTICC is huge. So mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you. I think it's going to be fun and I can't wait to see all the other artists that are going to be exhibiting. Um, I don't think I've met, I don't know if I've met any of them, but it sounds like it's going to be quite a diverse group. So that's really cool as well. Amazing. Well, we wish you the best of luck for both. Exciting. Cool, I think we're ready for the okay. next phase. So the next phase is I always um, start with dark. And the way that I've uh, painted this, the light is coming from this side. So the light is coming from the left. And so I'm going to do the shadows on that side of the canvas of the cactus. So I'll add a thicker green just on that side. So basically mix how you were, you were mixing before, but just add a bit more blue to your group too. Yeah. Is that not so take a dollop of yellow and then just add slightly more blue to that and you can mix it. Are we using the same paintbrush? Yeah, that same size I'm gonna should use be fine. Yours, no, I've got mine. What? I only have a little one this side and so I've, I'm using just that middle, yeah, they were both that middle one. Mm -hmm. Middle one you say? Yeah. 
And actually, while we're here, what I'll what we can do as well. So yeah, we can mix up dark green. Try and uh, mix quite a bit of this so you don't have to keep um, adding the same, I mean, trying to mix the same green the whole time. So I'm actually going to do a bit more. I think that's probably okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to add, add a bit. I always um, put a bit of yellow, a different, like a bit of yellow on the side and then a bit of blue. Um, just in case you need to. Just, yeah, just in case I need to dip into that. So I'm just going to do quite a bit of over there. I'm going to mix up quite a bit helping of this dark green. Because it goes on the entire one side of the cactus body and then on the arms as well. So you kind of want it to be the same color, color dark green. And again, you can decide how dark you want it to be. I find the, the darker the better because then it creates quite a nice contrast when you add the light. So that is quite dark. And then actually, at, yeah. just as okay. that is, I'm going to mix my very light green as well. So I'm actually just going to take my dirty paintbrush. Yeah. And I'm just going to dip into the yellow. And I'm just going to mix it like that. I'm not going to add any blue. The paint will just come off the paintbrush and it's cool. Mix it together nicely. So I also just have this on standby for when we do our light part because then it adds, um, it helps when you start blending. Cool. You that ready. You need some more blending space. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm to the, the lid. Somewhere. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. You can mix your light one on there. Yeah. Thanks, Laura. So yeah, I'm just going to try and make this quite a bit lighter than the body, the base color of the cactus, the body of the cactus. But lighter just with yellow here, not with white. Yeah, I was I was gonna say um, if you struggle to get the difference, it might actually be helpful to add a bit of white if the if the green isn't going that super bright green. This does tend to make the color a bit milky. Um, so if you want it a little bit more lime, then um, maybe don't add white, but I'm just going to add a touch of white to this. Maybe that's all the other thing. Yeah. That's fine. I think that's it. Maybe. Should I put more yellow? Yeah. So I put a dash of white and it made it back. Oh, so no, it. Good. But like when I say a dash, like the tiniest little flick of white. Yeah, it's really like you don't need a lot at all. Otherwise, it could go really milky. How did you get to my task? Um, I just used uh, another so brush. When, you, okay. when you're doing the brush and mm -hmm. it gets full up, you can just sort of like roll it outside like that to get okay. it semi clean. Okay. And then kind of paint it off on the piece. Yeah. Of... I mean, obviously, this is, it also helps if you have um, more than two brushes, but um, otherwise, you just have to clean in between each mix. Yeah. Like that mix. That even might be a bit much half of that. So then what I do is I'm going to take the dark green and in fact I think I'm going to start with the arms. Start with the arms. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to actually take my smaller brush, the smallest brush we got. Cool. And just on this side, so the cactus should actually be dry by now. So you can kind of lean on it if you have to. Cool. Um, <laughs> Um, from there, 
and just across this side. So just kind of on the right of every arm. I'm going to add the dark. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay. I'm just going to add the dark in here. So you just follow along. Wait, do you are going to use your thinner brush for this one? Oh. Yeah, the, the smallest one. Have you got all your colors mixed? Are you fine? I think so. <laughs> Soon find that. And then, yeah, so you just follow that along. Like that. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. And then what I do is I just kind of start blending it into the middle. So from the outside into the middle. And then I don't even clean the paintbrush off. I just wipe it. And I take the light green and I just start mixing from the middle out. And how I mix is I just dab it. So I just do light dabs on top of the dark green and it kind of, you'll see it kind of blends in. If I'm making sense. Yeah. How are you doing blending there, Mom? Get a little green on here. Just wipe your brush off on your tissue if you've got too much. And then, yeah, I don't even, I don't even actually use water. For that this part and then I just take the light and I just go on that right onto the edge of the other side. I try to keep that as light as possible. Well, brush, this is the light now. So yeah, you've got too much though. Wipe it off. Just want a little bit like so that it's kind of almost like this. Okay. And then just dab 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 gently to blend where you've got your dark. You can, yeah, if you, you sort of blend from like the middle out. Yeah. And then if you want this part to be lighter, which I actually do, I'm going to add a bit of white just on top of that. So I'll just mix, have some clean white on my palette. Yeah. And then I'll steal a bit of white there, and I'm just going to go straight with the white onto the green, and you can actually blend it. So once you've blended this bit, do you put black anywhere so, else? Yeah, so now what, yeah, try and blend all the way to the edge so that you've kind of got a wet base to work with. And then if you just watch what I'm doing here, and I'm taking tiny bits of white and I'm blending them into the wet, okay, like that. And so I don't use the, this light anywhere at the moment, apart from that tiny little Yeah, bit. so where okay. you blend it in, yeah. I have got that. Good. Is that okay? Yeah, I think we're getting okay. there. Cool. So basically, I just follow that technique uh, throughout with each sort of section of the cactus. Uh, so I'll do the same next arm. The same. So I just add the dark green first. Along the right side. All with this brush, eh? Um, you can you can change them if you want to, but yeah, she's doing it okay. all with one brush. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just doing it with one brush and I'm just wiping between. So I've just cleaned the small brush and I've just added the dark, the dark green. Just kind of follow the line again. That actually doesn't have to be perfect either, because we're going to add some spots after, and it's it'll disguise it. It will disguise, yeah, disguise all the imperfections. Yes. So then it's kind of like a green line, <laughs> dark green line, and then I just take the brush and I move it. I push the paint into the middle, and that kind of just blends on its own. And then once I'm happy with that, I take the light green and I just go on top of that dark green and I just do the same thing, small strokes. And I just dab it into, it's kind of like you're pushing the paint into each other and it creates that blend. 
I feel so wrong, Mum. It's <laughs> painting. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I have to see it. I feel it. I'm so stressed. <laughs> have a big sip of oh, wine. you'll feel less stressed. <laughs> so then I've blended that sort of into each other, and I just I'm actually going to clean my brush, and then I'm going to take the very black green and just go on the other edge, the left side of that arm. And then we're just creating our lights and our dots, our shadows. And I want that to be a little bit lighter, so I'm just going to add some more whites. Again, this doesn't actually have to be, the blending of this doesn't have to be perfect either. It's actually probably better if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> natural. I'm being quite rough with the, the blend in between as well. Not too. Not too fussed about it being perfectly blended. And now, if um, if the, if you wanted to be more white on the one side, it would have dried by now. On the top arm, and you can add more white as you go if you want. If you want to get more highlights. Looking good. It's good. It's gold. Oh. <laughs> okay, so then um, I'm going to actually take the bigger brush, not the biggest one, the middle one, and I'm going to do the body, the main, the main body of the canvas. I mean, of the cactus. I'm pretty calling it a canvas. And same thing, just going on the one side with the dark green. I'm just painting over that. Cactus is getting bigger than it is. <laughs> Mine is growing too. And when I get to this arm at the bottom, I don't know how you guys have done it, but I try and um, not paint over that. So I just missed that part and I paint around it. And then the same at the bottom of the shrine. So where we had where we can see the half lines. Do you get your elbow in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just miss the good off my board. Yeah. This one can be a little trickier because it's bigger. So sometimes the paint dries quite fast. <laughs> But yeah, again, so I'm just pushing the paints into the middle to blend it into that main body. And then I'm going to take the light green and go from the middle out. And then I just blend it in. Paint is dried, you can add either more paint or water if you need to blend. So we're just blending that. And then I'm going to Clean my brush. I'm 
and then I'll add the very last green on the side. Again, just dodging that arm. I'm getting a bit carried away with the blending here. <laughs> Falling behind. Yeah. Well, I haven't started any blending yet. So I'm just going for it. I mean, obviously, you guys must go to your own pace. Tell me to slow down or speed up. It is no I don't speed up. Yeah, I don't speed up. Actually, find with the blending, it can be quite rough. <laughs> okay. It's looking good. <laughs> why, are you, why are you so? I can't wait to see it. I'm you finding it hard to blend. I thought for the blend, for um, no, the big brush is going to give you a lot more like. Oh, okay. uh, that's my freedom. Come on, ladies, give us a sneak peek so we can see. No. What Oh, yeah, come on. I'll give you a sneak peek of mine. Oh, Ooh. cool. Lovely. Awesome. <laughs> My mom's also looks awesome. She's there shy. Go. Awesome. Stunning. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful, ladies. Mom, if you done my light bit there, I'm going to add a little bit more highlights on the one side. So again, I'm just dipping into the white and I'm just going to add a little bit of white on the side. Oh, damn. Respect all the paint will take it. Yeah, keep more paint on your mm. brush, I think. Yeah. It does happen with acrylics. That's one of the things that I like about that. So you can see that uh, keeping your greens nice and dark and your um, other one nice and light, it actually creates quite a cool contrast <laughs> in the other one. Otherwise, it could all blend together and not mm -hmm. that shape. I'm not afraid to use black. I know it's sort of like a no no. Oops. But I like <laughs> So uh, just wipe a brush off. Yeah. Um, dip it in a tiny bit of clean water. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Dry it off again. Yeah. And now and now go just like. Working. But a lot of light over here. That's good. Light and dark <laughs> is what gives it shape. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mine's very scattered light. Like just even some better. Common, yeah. dappled sunlight. Exactly. Like <laughs> I said, it will, it will look more natural actually. <laughs> Maybe like moving, uh, moving cactus, <laughs> <laughs> dancing cactus. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the other arm. Arms. Again, just keeping it on the one side because obviously we need to follow the light source. And the light is coming from the right, the left, sorry. And then I just blend it in. Get into the middle and then take my last 
Okay, and then uh, oh my god, with what uh, are we using tiny brush? Yeah, I'll switch to your tiny brush, I think. Okay, for the arm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the oh, same okay. technique okay. on on each piece of the cactus, basically. I've known mine quite long, didn't you? And then the bottom arm again dark flat. The same thing. And I'll push it in. Gonna have to have a lot of spikes to <laughs> cover. <laughs> that's cool. Everyone has a, like a different style as well. So some might be like mm -hmm. super smooth, and see, like mine, you can see the brush strokes a lot more than the original, but that's just. Oh. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's fine. It's not like right or wrong. Exactly. I was gonna say, if you can see the brush strokes or you blend it in, it's actually just your style. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And then I'm going to add some wax just for, for some highlights on the side. And then that's sort of the most difficult part done, really. Looking gorgeous, Kendall. How are you ladies doing? We're fine, I think. Yep. <laughs> Some of us are a bit stressed. Hey? <laughs> it's all good. Like getting yeah, out of your comfort zone is, it, it, yeah, it's yeah, good. It is good. I'm adding, um, I'm taking a bit of the very light green and white, and I'm just, I've just mixed them together. And I'm just going to add a touch of it on each on the edge of each of these arms, just because I want to see more light on my canvas on my cactus. Cool, like just a sort of deeper highlight. Yeah, just so it creates more shape. The darker the shadows and the lighter the highlights, um, really it really brings out the shape quite quite dramatically. That contrast. And you can just go over on top of whatever you've done. And actually don't really even need to blend that much because it's a highlight, so. I'm just doing that in all the light parts. Okay, quite nice bold highlight. Do you need help? No, I'm just watching you in a I'm sure I do. So you, you're mixing the white with this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so I would take just a tiny bit of that and then mix it with quite a lot of white. Okay. In a new little pile. Okay. Yeah, just a separate uh, area. And then I'm just doing small strokes onto the lights. Or the, yeah, the lights are part of that. I just wanted to see a bit more light on that. And then I'll add some onto this side as well, to the body. Cool. 
I'm happy with that. And then you really need to move on to the next section. I'm just fussing with the blending so a little bit. No Mm. No, it's nice you can just touch it with your hand. I'm just going to add a little bit more dark rounding. Kind of what I was doing with very light highlights. <laughs> Lots of oopsing going. <laughs> I guess having going outside of the lines and then having to make my cactus big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Like taking taking over the canvas a little bit. And when you, when the ladies are ready, you can just say no. Shadow. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're getting there almost. To the green and the yellow. Done. And green and the yellow. Looking so good. I did the blending thing. Yeah, it's hard. But yeah. you look like you're doing the same. Really well. like Do sh just short, yeah. short and quick strokes. Will help. Okay. I find that accent in usually helps as well. I'm dark to that. I feel like this is very, very <laughs> imperfect, but <laughs> well, it's all relative. Imperfect. You can't well. kind of see this thing where it starts and ends. Yeah, I gave mine a sort of, that's what I've mm. been doing now, I was trying to give them more clean lines. Um, that's yeah. not a tragedy. What are you saying, Mama? We're you getting ready to move on. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, I could, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. decide when you finish. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you can dabble for, for ages. Yeah. So that's also what's fun about it. 
Um, okay, so I'm just going to move on to the uh, black shadow now. Mm -hmm. So again, just take your smallest brush and clean it off. And then dry it. Get some, you know, another side. I make sure it's nice and dry with a paintbrush. Cool, nice and dry. Gotcha. And then I'm actually just going to use the cap of the black. Um, I was kind of run out of space, yeah. But we're not going to mix it, so that's fine. You can just use the black straight from the tab. Oh my cup totally dry. Yeah. I'll just skip a little yeah. bit out. And then you just take a little bit of black. You need to move this out of the way. Well, this, okay. is, this is stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty chilled. You just take the black and you run it along the outside of that arm. Okay. Where that shape ends and begins kind of like that. So I just do that shape first, um, just like that. Uh, so <laughs> just following the edge of that and then just making sure that there's a difference between the arm and the body. And once you've done that, you can kind of decide where, you, I mean, if it's easier, you can also use your pencil, but I'm just gonna use the paintbrush. And I'm just gonna decide where my shadow is going to be. So what I do is I take the tip of the paintbrush and I just run it across the body of the cactus. And because the cactus is round you kind of give it a bit of a bend at the end okay it's not like a straight line and then again i run it from the top down i just follow and it goes like all the way across eh? yeah and i've just followed the line that i've made the first line that i made and i just that's i run it parallel to that and i just do the same thing and then i give it a bit of an end at the a bit of a bend at the end because it's round so we want that shape Just like that. Yeah, okay. And then I just fill it in. Cool. Yeah. Just like full on black, eh? Hey? Yeah, I just, I just go for it, yeah. I mean, if you want, you could mix a darker green, very, you know, if you wanted, but I, I don't know, I'm not afraid of black, so <laughs> I just go for it. I know okay. shadows sometimes have color in them. That's, I was a thing in art school, and like I didn't even own black paint. It was like a big no-no. I know, it's such a no-no in art school, but I don't know. <laughs> I use it all the time. I suppose because I work mainly with charcoal, so oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really scared of black. <laughs> yeah, it would not be helpful to avoid black in that story. <laughs> So there's our first shadow. Oh, so my first girl is the shadow of the <laughs> I have no idea what you're painting. No. <laughs> well, you're very good at following instructions. <laughs> like, it's amazing how real that looks. And just from bending the line a bit. Yeah, it's and it's actually once you start create, start creating the shadows and the lights, it just like brings mine it doesn't. Mine yeah, doesn't look doesn't great look. like that. And then with this arm on the right, I oh, take the paintbrush like again. A black strap. And again, I just bend. So I just start from the top there and I just bend the shadow. Like Bending it gives it that shape that suggesting that it's around cactus. And I just fill that in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's good, man. Oh, 
So that's Amit shadow. And that's the shadow from this, the main part of the captive. Like the trunk. Yeah, the trunk. Oh. And then I just do the same on the bottom one. So I just follow the black along the edge of that, where that ends, and the trunk begins. And I've painted it so this little arm is kind of in the way of the shadow, so I just just stop when you get there. No, you just stop when you get there, basically. And just paint around it. Mine's are not quite aligned in the same way. So. Okay. And then, yeah, you just paint around that little arm. That's a bit of a problem, right? Yes, I think. Mm, it's a good little crap. It's going to be much more easy to get. Okay. I feel like I have to put this up in my house somewhere. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I think you do. And you have to put yours up somewhere. And her mind is not in case. Oh shit. That shadow got all wonky. <laughs> you know, this one of mine is very wonky because my things weren't in the same position, if you know. Mm. So basically I'm just pretending that the light is coming from there. So then you just create the shadows going across. So if your arms are in a different position, then just follow so the shadow is on that side. How's our shadows looking, ladies? Wonky. My, oh, mine aren't really looking like that. Mine looks like a banded cactus. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty good, Mum. It, it will start to come together when we add our lines now. Mm. I'm just going over the black with the second layer. You can if you want. Not a big deal if you don't. So, are you guys okay? Mm, yeah. Yep. So <laughs> doesn't look at all like <laughs> this part. Okay. This part is um it can be a little bit tricky. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just show you what I do and then okay. just let me know if you have any questions. So again I use the smallest part of the smallest paintbrush and I just yeah. tap the edge of the paintbrush with paint, very little bit of paint on the tip. And I start in the middle. And this actually doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's, they, in fact, probably shouldn't be perfect lines. And I just start at the top and I just run the paintbrush down and across. And it doesn't matter if it's like a little dotted kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it can also, yeah, I mean, if you want it to be, it doesn't have to be an exact line. So if you want to just add some thicker, bits here and there, but I just started in the middle and then I work out. So I'm going to then do the same thing, tip of the edge, uh, tip of the pen brush and I just run it across. Try not to lift the brush, I think okay. that's, that's going to be a, the key. 
and it's just a very light, it's a very light sort of um, touch. You don't have to press hard at all. And the lines are naturally going to be thicker and thinner in some parts as your hand runs across it. Um, and then that, and that's perfect. I feel like that's how it should be. Because it's just the way the lights is like sort of falling off the canvas, the canvas. And, the canvas. and I see that all over. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see. But my lines aren't perfect at all. There's some thick and some thin. Oh yeah. Look so up. it doesn't have to be that really doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. You see a very bit a little bit of black. It might help to wet the paintbrush a little bit as well, just to run it across across the canvas. So I'd start again in the middle. And I'll just run it around. Just along the shape of the arm. From top down. I don't quite know. I think that's fine. So I think so too. And I'm just dipping my paintbrush in uh, water every now and then just to keep it wet. Okay. Very little bit. It makes it a little bit easier when you're making these lines. And then I'll do the trunk of the cactus. Again, starting in the middle, laying down. Mm -hmm. I'm going in the wrong order here. That's okay. Perfect. Trunks are just too intimidating. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot here. Although you might get in your in my own space. Yeah, you might need to give it a moment to dry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, okay. I'm doing it. And then I just follow. <laughs> That line. Why well, I start in the middle is just so I can have a reference point and then I just follow that line down, keeping a small space in between each of the, the grooves. It's actually kind of easier if you go faster. Yeah, it is. And I actually, I'm like, I'm dabbing and then I'm just putting down and then lifting up and then pulling down rather than trying to do one continuous line. I find that a bit easier. Do you like sort of smaller oh, no, no. strokes? <laughs> Looks good. Okay. And here you can add as many lines as you want. Um, or as few. <laughs> I have a bit of, I have probably about a five millimeter space in between each of them, maybe less. And this is really imperfect. I mean, this we don't straight lines at all.
I'll just move on to the next arm. We put in the middle, and then just following the shape of the This is the part of the the painting. I forget to breathe sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> take a breath. Oh, that's terrible more than I'm looking at. No, it doesn't. That's good. What's the little cactus? cactus. On? It looks great to me. Yeah. But. I'll have less crosses to do because I've got less lines. No, that's true. Hey guys, say? I just do like a few lines. Okay. Cool, happy. Relatively. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, now this is really also just about making crosses along those lines. And you can make it really light green or white. So it's up to you. Um I sort of in the original piece I made the um crosses white where it was the lightest part of the cactus, and then I made it green. In the shadows, just as kind of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. of the shadow, Very but you cool. don't have to do that uh, if you don't want to. Okay, um, okay. so, so like I'll the, just the take lattice pot, middle pots. Yeah, I think. Okay. Again, this is your very small brush. Um, I do have a smaller brush that I'm going to be using for this, but I think with. Let me just see with this one. Ooh. Maybe I can just be strokes as opposed to actual crosses because the crosses can be quite big with this paintbrush. Let me see, I'll try to use this brush too. Um, so your smallest one. Smallest green one. Oh, yeah, and then just clean it and dry it. I thought this needs to be cut dry. Um, this is the smallest brush, isn't it? No, you've no. got a bigger brush. Um, I think this is the small one. No. So I'll just do the. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they do the small one. I'll just do the main part of the cactus, and you guys can see. Um, I take. I'm just going to do white. Take okay. a little bit of white again, like the same amount. Um, Very black. But I did with the black, and I just. I'm just going to do little strokes, yeah. little crosses, all along the line, and the. Crosses can be big or small, spaced out as far apart as you want. It's just kind of to give the illusion that it's spiky. Okay. And again, this really doesn't have to be perfect crosses. It's just a suggestion of, of spikes or lights. I'm sure you have to with the brush in a paint. Okay. Even if um, they just like even if it's just one dash, it's just yeah. Again, just to show that it's spiky, and I just follow that all along the black line. You can be here, otherwise you're gonna be here forever. <laughs> and this white is quite um, thin, so I'm not gonna add any water. I'll just keep dipping into the white paint. You could get more intricate uh, crosses with a smaller brush, but just for the purpose of today, crosses can be quite thick and... Well, it actually looks pretty cool once you start adding the crosses. Yeah, it's, it really it like comes to life. Hmm. What do you do when you get to the shadows? Just skip them entirely. Yeah, I just get the shadows. You could, if you wanted to add um, 
crosses with the dark green, but I just skipped them. Um, and then, so I'm starting to get to like the darker part of the, the cactus. So I'm gonna actually take my light green and do crosses with the light green. Because I still got quite a lot of light green there. So I'm just gonna take the light green and start adding that. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> Are you doing them like kind of in line with each other or like doesn't it really matter? Um it doesn't matter. <laughs> um Miss you OCD like me. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of make it as free as possible just because I, I feel like then it looks a little bit more natural and realistic yeah. rather than uniform. Makes sense. So you can go further apart on the next one, then one. Connect. Mm -hmm. The next one, then. So that'd be all my left to right, and then the one right to left. I'm just taking my light green and I'm just going to do that in the shadows. It's the suggestion of spots. Even if you don't really see them back then. Why don't you slip like crosses and not pickles? Well, it's because it's your own, I swear. It looks, yours looks so much better than mine to me. <laughs> but this is the nature of mm. painting. Everyone else's always looks better. Yeah. It's like when someone makes you food or tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's better. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I just follow that all the way along and same thing with the arms. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Yeah. It's a bit of a a meditative kind of painting. I've seen. Mm. <laughs> Have a bit of patience for this one. It's kind of nice to do like the repetitive things like this. Yeah. I think that's why I was drawn to these as well. Just kind of sex and just music, wine, and I could drink wine. <laughs> And I'm just going um, in with my white paint on all of them now, just so I don't have to clean my brush again. Keep it clean. Why did you get so many done so quickly? Me? No. Oh, no, I don't Bingo. know. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm really not um, being perfect about this. I'm just. Well, I promise you. <laughs> I don't even think right. <laughs> Close to half of my crosses done. Some are half crosses, some are dashes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm literally like halfway through the body having started. <laughs> yeah, same. You can just leave us here and we'll spend the rest of the, the night doing crosses. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just mixing a bit of my light green and white again, and I'm just going to do the crosses and the same thing in the shadows. How are we doing, ladies? Yeah. yeah. Can I get in there? <laughs> Slow and steady. Gonna dream of crosses tonight. <laughs> crosses and lines. Yeah. And then, I know you're still busy with that, but I'll just show you as well what I do. And this really brings it together. Yeah. Uh, make little spikes on the edge of the cactus. So um, maybe with your lattice free, yeah, you can just make, I hope that comes out okay. Let me see, maybe I can do the dark green. Okay, I'm gonna do the dark green on the shadow side. And I just make little crosses uh, or like little V shapes. Oh, quick sticking. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that gives it a bit of 3D kind of. Yeah. So I don't know. You can see that. Yeah. yeah cool. This little like V's all along the edge, and that just gives it that shape that it's round. Okay. And I, I, still, I still haven't started doing the crosses <laughs> on my arms, so <laughs> okay. I'll get there eventually. Um, and I just use the dark green um, in the shadows, and then obviously the light green in the in the highlights, just to follow the source of light. So do you do them on both sides? Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not painting here. So I'm just doing the dark all the way down and I'll do them on the arms as well. And again, that's just to like give the illusion of spark. So even if it's just little dots, it doesn't even have to be a shape. It's just a suggestion.
And then I'm just keen that paintbrush off and dry it as well. And then I'm just going to add the light stripes. Light stripes, you say? I'm just going to add the light spikes on the um, black side, just with my lightest green. I can't really tell on this. It's quite difficult to show you. But I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the dark green, just with the lighter, the lighter green. Sammy. Oh, Sammy, it was me. <laughs> Sam. Sammy, shush. I thought it was nothing, but it was just me <laughs> tapping on the table. <laughs> Sammy. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Check the door. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm so far behind. Yeah. Again, this is just, I mean, that's the thing of the, well, the thing with this painting is it really is just at your own time. And I can just show you the techniques for each little thing. <laughs> but there's really no rush. Yeah. Just kind of change things when you add the outside spikes. I'm just jumping ahead. Just jumping ahead so I can try them while we're still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does give it shape here eh, when you start adding those little spots on the edge. Yeah. I like the big back in that thing. Oh. Oh. Well, I want to open the door so we yeah, don't see that anything's fine. Look. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some air moving through here. No, that green's all dried up to nothing. I just yeah. make more. Yeah, acrylic does that. I think problem dries very quickly. Oh, big cross. Well, once you've done all of those, you're done. That's it. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Yes. You can just you can just leave us making crosses because we could be here for quite a while. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, kind of there. Oh, it's been so much fun though. It has. It's really nice to see you again. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, it's been great. Oh, oh, it's very quiet class today. Very one on one. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's getting there. <laughs> Amazing. Good job. Very cool. Can you show them yours? Let's see. Oh, it's so oh, gorgeous. My painting. first ever painting. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's really good for your very first painting as well. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Cool. That'd be fun. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank we'll you, ladies, for joining us. And, and then drink more wine. <laughs> <laughs> and then thank you, Kendall, for teaching such a wonderful class. No, thanks, yeah, Kendall. Yeah, thanks, Kendall. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Awesome. Hope your baby sleeps all night. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ladies, please watch so guys. It was lovely. Bye, guys. Please post a photo Bye. of your artworks afterwards on Instagram or Facebook and tag us at Painting Subsede and okay. Kale at Kale in Art. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thanks, awesome. ladies. Bye. Bye.